What is going on, Jet fans? Daniel Jeremiah just tweeted out that after all of his calls last night and this morning, he says, quote, everybody is trading up for an offensive tackle. Now, I know it's smokescreen season. It's rumor season. We've just been throwing stuff at the wall and, and talking about all the options for the past few months. But in my experience, this is a fan watching the NFL drafts. Those last like 36 to 72 hours is where some substantial leaks and information starts to come out. So I pay more attention now um, than ever. And obviously Jeremiah is as plugged in as anybody. So if teams are, and it's not like, you know, earth shattering news, right? There's a really good offensive tackle class. Teams need offensive tackles. So the Jets, I would be surprised if the Jets traded up for a tackle. Um, even Joe Alta, as good as he is, I do think if the Jets trade up, it's probably be to try to get one of those top receivers. So I think this is more of a trade down situation for the Jets. And there's you know, four partners that I could see coming up to pick number 10 uh, for an offensive tackle. The Saints pick at 14. They got Trevor Penning on one side, who's been very disappointing. They got Ryan Ramchak on the other side, who's got medical problems. Don't even know if he's going to play. So going back from 10 to 14 could probably get you a third round pick. Or, you know, if they're really desperate, maybe you could send over or maybe you could even swap like pick 72. Um, for their second round pick, something like that, but around the value of a third round pick that is that's pretty similar to the the jump that the Patriots uh, afforded the Steelers to do to come up and get Broderick Jones last year. I believe it was a fourth round pick to come up like seventeen to thirteen. Now the Bengals are at eighteen, and you know they have Orlando Brown at one side, and they have a one year band aid of Trent Brown, and they uh, Joe Burrow has had you know with what three season ending injuries now. Got to protect him. If there's a guy they really like, maybe they would come up. Now, pick 18 is where you're talking about maybe a second-round pick. Is there a player the Bengals like enough to spend both of their top two picks on? I don't know. Uh, again, maybe that's a situation where then you would kick in like 135 in the fourth round. 10 and you know 135 for Bengals, uh, 18 in their second-round pick, something like that. But that's where you're getting more towards second-round pick territory. The Rams did tender Alaric Jackson. That's a one-year Stop gap at left tackle. I don't know if he's a long-term answer there. And then Pittsburgh, who has Broderick Jones on one side, but Dan Moore, who's unplayable. They need a, they need another bookend with Jones. I don't know if they're going to kick him over to left or right. So uh, maybe. I don't think – I'm not looking down the board past then. I don't see a team, like, screaming up from, you know, 20, 25-plus to 10. And if you're the Jets, do you even want to go that far? Because now you're talking – you know, wide receiver, offensive lineman could be really picked over by then. But those are some options uh, for the Jets if they want to slide back and they're comfortable with uh, Brian Thomas Jr., with Brock Bowers, or with um, some of those offensive linemen not named Joe Alt. And those, some of those players could be available anywhere from 14 to 20. And we'll talk all soon. Go Jets.